And now, Hawaii's most accurate weather with Justin Cruz. Oh, we're seeing a lot of red in the weather threat index. That means a lot is going on with the surf, the strong winds, and the heavy rain possibilities. The uh, winds are due to a strong high pressure system. We don't normally see these strong winds as trades. Uh, this time of year during the wet season. Usually the winds might be Kona winds or different wind speeds, but this is uh, on the rare side, but it is very strong nonetheless. 15 to 35 sustained up to 50 miles with gusts. And on top of the winds, we do have some rain. This tropical moisture right here. Let's take a look at the future radar. So what you're going to see are these showers that are going to spread initially statewide. This is 10 a.m. Friday morning. The heaviest stuff is going to be from Friday night, this is 11 p.m. Friday night, in through Saturday night. So that's when we can see some really, really heavy rain. And this is statewide. It doesn't matter if it's windward or leeward, what island. This is going to hit the entire state of Hawaii with some of the showers very heavy at times, especially on Saturday morning, in this instance for Maui County. I'm hoping the, um, the, the wet weather, at least the heavy rain, starts to clear up by Sunday. Fingers crossed, but there is a chance that uh, it still could be wet. Overall, it is the wet season living up to its name. Look at the heavier showers that are moving through all islands right now. Um, the flooding threat is very minimal due to the fact that these showers are moving in kind of quickly. But we have seen pretty decent downpours right now over both the Lique Lique and the Pali Highway in in-town areas, as well as areas such as East Maui, portions of Moloka'i, West Maui, and of course the Big Island seeing quite a bit of rain move through uh, over the past several days, in fact. About half an inch to an inch of rain so far per hour, all day long. 5 to 7 for the west, 10 to 15 for the east side, and 6 to 9 for the north. South Shores check in at 1 to 3. That's best for the kids, but it's not like we're going to have beach weather anyway. Mostly cloudy and windy tomorrow. Slight chance of thunderstorms. Two questions to answer. Number one, when will the winds start to ease? The winds are probably not going to ease until early next week. Still seeing 30 mile per hour winds Sunday and Monday. Number two, when's the wet weather and heavy rain going to stop? Um, the heaviest rain is definitely going to be Friday and Saturday. We still might see some lingering showers on Sunday, but Sunday should be should be drier by comparison. But the next two days, folks, you're definitely going to need to hunker down. We got some wet and windy weather continuing to move into the islands, and we're just getting started.